Hi guys, welcome to Photoix. In this video, I've got an unboxing and a quick look at the Vicovation Vico WF1 1080p Wi Fi car camera. This was sent to me direct by the manufacturers to review. So, we'll have a quick look at what's inside and go through some of the specifications as well. As you can see, the box is really nicely presented, lots of information on there. It's got this little slip thing on the uh, top there with all the details on. I need to slide that off and then we'll try to get into the main box. So you just pull this end out here to reveal two compartments. It's got a load of information on there. This camera you actually need either an iPhone or an Android phone to set it up. I'll talk a bit about I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. Let's have a look in here first. This is the actual camera itself. And there's a big warning here telling you only to use the car charger that came with it. Um, any other charger might damage the device, so make a note of that. Uh, in here we've also got the suction mount for your car. And we've got a solid mount with a sticky pad on it, adhesive mount. We've got the car charger, a USB cable with a normal USB and then mini USB on the other end, spare sticky pad, and also we've got a warranty card, the mounting installation guide tells you how to use all the mounts, and then a big glossy uh, manual, really well laid out, really clear, really bright colourful pictures, uh, tells you everything that you need to know. Okay so this is the actual camera, there's another warning label there, it's a slightly different shape to some of the other dash cameras about but it uh, looks quite nice. You can see there the lens at the front and then you've got some holes, speaker holes, vent holes, uh, you've got a big button and the SD card slot. It takes micro SD cards. On this side we've got the power and uh, the HDMI out and this is the mount on the top. So just put that to one side for a second and have a look at the mounts. This is the suction mount, nice and compact. Uh, you've got an adjustment knob there to go up and down and then you've also got a little ball head on the top there as well so it's very adjustable. And you've got the big lever on there to suction on to your windscreen. Uh, the, uh, the ball head can be locked down with the little ring on the top there as well. And this is the adhesive mount. Again, it's just like a, a ball head um, on the adhesive mount there. Nice and sturdy. You can lock the ball down to make sure it doesn't move back. That's nice and tight. Uh, to attach the mount to the camera, you see there's that little peg. And you stick that peg in the hole and slide it backwards and it clicks into place. Nice and simple and it's nice and sturdy on there. To take it off again, simply just pull it back. And you hear it snap out. The ball head is slightly different but pretty much the same. Uh, again, get that little notch, line it up and snap it into place. And you hear that nice snap. That's now secure. To take it off you need to press that little tab in and then force it back. It is a bit fiddly but once you get used to it it's okay. But a good mount there. The car charger, you've got a nice little LED on there to show you it's in use. And a right angle USB plug. Again really well made. And it simply just plugs in like so. You can notice so it does block that HDMI port. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. I'll have to have a look at that a bit later on if you want to use both at the same time. To insert the SD card, make sure that the data pins are facing upwards and then just slide in and it clicks in. And you can of course close the door. And to remove it, just as usual, push in and then you can pull the card out. Okay, so on the bottom we've got that big button which controls all the functions on the camera. That's the only button on there. And you've got, uh, of course, the lens itself, 
make sure you remember to take that protective cover off before you start using it. And here we've got the instructions on how to mount the camera like I just showed you. Uh, explains everything really well, really good clear pictures, even tells you how to route the cable and there it tells you how to start recording and how all the uh, LED lights function. To use this camera, as I mentioned, you actually need an iPhone or Android phone. You need to download the app from the App Store, which I'll do now. So open your App Store and search Vcovation. You can see it comes up there anyway, you don't need to finish it. I've already actually downloaded this once, you'll get the install button. So just download the app. Once that's downloaded, you can then put the SD card, fully formatted card, into the camera. Make sure you do this before you power it on, it's very important. So once the card's in, you can plug in the USB cable. And the camera will power up, and you should hear this. System loading. Recording started. In case the recording started now, so we can go into the settings and we need to load up the Wi Fi. So just wait for the Wi Fi signal to come through. It'll be listed as uh, Vico something. Let's wait for it to pop up. There it is, Vico WF1. So click on that. The default password is 87654321. You can, of course, change that later on. So click that, wait for it to come up. Once it's done, we can then go back into the application and uh, start looking at all the other settings. Wi Fi connected, recording disabled. You can hear there it's connected, and we're now in the app. Really nice looking app, very sleek. Um, you can access live view for the camera here. And I'll just show you there, just move the camera around so you can see. And also, you've got the settings menu here with all the different functions on. And got camera settings, it's got the video mode, exposure and night enhance, system settings, set the time from the phone, all sorts of other things in there. I'm going to go through all the settings in more detail in a later video, just to quickly show you. G-Sensor settings, alert email notification, that's the selling point of this camera. This is lane departure sensor, which is interesting, I'm going to play with that again later. And then system information tells you the firmware and the status of the camera and so on. And then we can go back to the home. You've also got this driving curve thing, which appears to be some kind of um, driving app, which kind of monitors your driving and tells you how good you're driving. So again, I'll have a look at that in another video later on. And you can, of course, also see the uh, the videos that you've just shot. You can see there the video that I shot before I start up the Wi-Fi. If you look down in the bottom left corner as well, you see you've also got the date there and the time. Vico tag, which I will explain again in the video, you can actually change that to whatever you want. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, hope that's helpful. Keep an eye, I've got loads more videos on this coming up soon, including how to use it properly and setting it all up. Cheers very much.